Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. This is God of Damn it, the one up man. And I'm not even gonna give you a recap because the game's gonna do it for me. We're on episode five of Life is Strange now. Previously on Life is Strange. And here's your recap. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. Crazy Maybe fuck. He has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ah. <sighs> uh. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Crazy. Mr. Yeah, Jefferson. Oh, god. Sick, twisted son of a bitch. Must you show us this text every new episode? Well, we're held in captivity. Let's see what's going on. We're in the dark room. We have to be. Lumo Lumo lights What does he have in store for us? Is he going to try to kill us? I would assume so He killed Rachel Or Nathan killed Rachel Someone did it But why? Why just drug someone and kill him? No fingernail having Max. That's a power in itself. Polarized. Um. Tied up and bound. I'm just gonna say this now. This is one of my. I think this is my favorite episode of the game. Oh, we can move. Chloe. What? Where? It's a dark room. Yeah. Anything that happened. Oh, oh shit. That's me. He took that shot last night. Let's detach. Let's get out of here. Finally. 
I'm free. Almost. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Oh. Uh. Hmm. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Focus on the photo. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh my god. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Sick ass. Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare then! Stay still! Look at this crazy bastard. Oh, well. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Need to get out of here. Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. We're like special. If Nathan could see this setup, he tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out. What have Along you with done with Nathan? Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just what? too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room... Is under 24 7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. It was him. And you fell right into my hands. How'd he get Nathan's phone, though? You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. We just stall <gasps> specimens to him. Chloe. Right. Hey, I'm sorry that I killed. that Nathan killed her in self defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. Using Nathan as a scapegoat. I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Oh, no. No. All right, we gotta figure something out while he's gone. Do it now. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid. Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. There's reasons. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Oh shit. Oh Jesus. I can't 
can't believe that happened. So sick. Okay. Now what? The camera? I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. We'll find a way. Whoa. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Let's do it. This might work. Please work. We just gotta hope we don't get stuck. In any place. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Doe. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Yeah, why? <laughs> Max. I'd like to know the I'm same. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. He is. And this is your last session. It is. We're gonna make sure. On contrary, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You'll pay for what you did to Chloe, you fuck. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. Well, you will fuck. not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. It's good our esteemed Principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Uh, yeah, he used them, definitely. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. I didn't mean to kill her. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. <sighs> Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel 
was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Hmm. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. <sighs> After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. It's a pretty long you one. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Mm. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. Tell I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. What does that mean? Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart from that old heart. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Yeah, let's get him to give them with us. Shots came out. Wait, please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. My diary. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. I want to look There's at it. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. Yeah, let me look at them. What I a need, waste of talent. I need a closer look. Look at that shot, Max. Yeah, thank you. You can do so much better. You're right. I really could. Let's get the fuck out of here. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Oh shit. And capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trip. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. We're going to burn this motherfucker the now. The 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max... Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? It wasn't the Daguerrean process, you fuck. I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? <sighs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Let's, uh, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you... Look how different she is now. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes to change time. Yeah, it is. So where you'll be fetid by the first. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. As if I give a damn enough. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. What are we searching for? I should be able to track found you. We'll be fine. Oh, David. Security 555630. Okay. Use the cell phone. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. <laughs> we can count on it. I have a good feeling. Fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. In Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. As the past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Pushing yourself pretty damn hard. What are we going to use this it for? Does, this fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria. Or excuses. You will not hurt Kate Marsh this time. Oh, Victoria. We could have been friends. Stop my posy. Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him. But he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin. Vic, get over yourself. Wow. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Rachel, I'm sorry. Looking at things a lot different this time around, aren't we? There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. The fucking camera. I'd like to bust this up right now. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you mm. just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then, I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but... 
Why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. Still Maybe keeping up the charade. Innocent. Yeah, I'll guilty. Bet. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Word. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. He getting off on it, sick ass. What's happened? What have we altered? Okay, everything looks pretty much the same. Okay, they found the dark room. Jefferson has been arrested, yes. And Nathan. What? Guess they found Rachel. We got... We won the Everyday Euro contest. Chloe's alive and rocking. Whoa. Pack West Airlines. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. We're on a plane, We're and there's plane. that hot dog again. I need to know what that what that is. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. David stepped up. You rule, I am so proud Chloe. of my superstar. Let's just start. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Wow, sir. Let's look out the window. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Please tell me about what that oh, is. I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Hot Dog Chloe Man. I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. I've seen him. When we were innocent. I've seen him so many times. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Blackwell security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber, allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay.
Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech dark room studio was located. All right. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Just fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Next to the drunk. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Ah, uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. How did you sleep? Yeah, Over drunk. Snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's Sound been like a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Yeah, Between you believe Mr. me now? Jefferson and Prescott's. Things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Uh-oh. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Oh, uh -huh, Master Roshi. Max. You're not just screwing around with time. Nope. More changes. Zeitgeist Gallery. It's a nice place. Pictures are nice. I don't know what the hell that light is supposed to be. Max looking badass. The best outfit she's worn See, in the game so far. Is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Huh. I better get in there and start schmoozing. Just you glad know, they I don't got no whiskey. Be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. But, um, yeah, I uh, like her style here in this. Wowzer, Max. This scene. You did it. Somehow, I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. Huh, <laughs> should have said strange. You know you wanted oh, to do sir. it. A Danny Lee article. Park train, literally it's a long, amazing story that I won't repeat here. Drinks are required for that one. Here's to mom. That might explain my obsessive love for the Bay Area and its outpost of artists and dissidents. 
Despite the rampant gentrification, artists and creators thrive regardless of socioeconomic pressures because that's what they do. Galleries such as the Zeitgeist, the Milkovich fashion, have engaged with the diverse community and practiced what some patrons only preach. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. I've heard Must horror stories. Really cool. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Some mysteries should stay that way. How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. Still thinking of Warren, huh? Holy shit. This flyer was designed just for Chloe. I was thinking the same. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. But what oh, is shit. it? Pretentious alert. What is it, though? Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Yeah, no problem. Next time, try looking at me instead of her while you talk. Just a thought. Talk to the receptionist. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Where's my name? Max Caulfield, there it is. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. Yeah, that would be the correct term. 2013 everyday heroes look at this print the depth of field, this damn colors, hot dog man shape. this was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a like a 35 millimeter lens you can definitely find out those details the story of a photo if you know how to look at all the details of a picture oh this is so interesting Matthew I didn't think you knew about this Woman. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. You're lucky you didn't go. Trust me, and we look alike. I mean, you're cuter, but... That one is kind of silly. I would love to have this on a shelf someday. I like, oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Definitely takes patience. This kind of got me wanting to go to a museum. There's a museum not far from me, a museum of natural history. Uh. There's an art museum here in New York also. I think it was a couple of them. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. I know it's kind of simple. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I don't know. I'm just lucky. In more ways than There's one. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong. And I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should've put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Should've. 
I tried to tell you. I did tell you that Nathan was involved. Not that I expected anyone to believe me. I'll regret that for the rest of my life, Max. The Prescotts knew how to protect their own. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Good. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Interesting, huh? Maybe it's karma. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Always got to be doing something, drinking, eating, something, huh? All right, I'll lay off, I promise. How do these galleries afford to rent here? I wonder if... Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Appreciate it. That is different. God, you must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Max Caulfield, everyday hero. Um, forgive me for my ignorance here, or... Bad exposure, bad framing, bad picture. Bad critic. I done this so much better. Um, this makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. I I feel like looking up these schools. I don't know if they really exist or not. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Like Blackwell Academy. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. The bleeding. So. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. It's a big ass tornado. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, like... can you hear me? Hello? Hello? I've had nightmares of tornadoes more than once. Oh my um, god. The tornado was real. Hitting my city. Oh, I didn't fix shit. I wonder what Chloe, that means. I should look that up. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. No, we can't have that. That's not what we signed there up for. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. What do we do? What do we do, I Principal? Do not understand. Can't talk to him. We gotta go no back. Fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. We gotta go back. Yet again. Our brain's gonna explode if we keep going through these damn pictures. Oh shit! Oh my head! What 
is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. Well, damn right. What am I doing to time? You're destroying the shit. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. All right, so you're going to destroy the picture. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. You're sacrificing your future for Chloe and for Arcadia Bay. What happens now? Uh, we're back in the dark room? What? Why? Oh, oh no. Fuck. God, no. We've done a 360. I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Boy, what happened? It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. I used to do that a lot in it school. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Eat shit and die. Spit in his face. Good answer. Good answer. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. It wasn't that good of a photograph, let's Sorry. be honest. I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Oh, Fuck. shit. You burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Yeah, I'll say. You, you wouldn't understand the half of it. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. Look at him getting off on I it. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. How are we going to get out of this one? He's burned the pictures. Please. I don't remember how we get out of this one, to be honest. Uh, I don't. promise this final dose won't hurt. Don't, motherfucker. What? What? I need something. Damn. David's here. Oh, because of the warning. No, no David. Uh, no. No more nosebleeds. Whoa. Wait. Hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... Request? 
Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Uh, some water. Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Yeah, my leg is still unbinded. Maybe I can do something with that table if he's brought it closer to me. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No gun. No ball. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Fuck him up. No! no! David Madsen. Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. No, don't do it. A real bullet. We'll figure it out next time. Damn it. We gotta get out of here. Sorry to end the, the game this abruptly. But a new episode will be coming after this one. Uh, right after it. So you won't be missing it. Alright, thank you for watching this. But God damn it, the one up, man. I'll catch you in the next one.